Hi, my name is Luigi and I'm the maestro on the art of napkin folding. What we're doing today is a, a demonstration on the napkin which comes from my book, The Luigi's Language of Napkin Folding. What we're doing now is the samurai, is a part of the Japanese theme and uh, it's very good sometimes to personalize the napkin to match the occasion. This particular one we're doing is a lady's jacket, which will be very suitable for somebody's birthday and also used for a wedding celebration. And what we do is we take a napkin and we fold it in half, but in such a way that we're not getting right to the edge. We just leave a little bit of fungus, about a finger, I would say, one centimeter. Having done this, then we turn the napkin over Then we take the right hand side and we get into the situation up to this point in here. As you can see from that point into there. Now it is important that you are very flexible on here because this is going to be right to the edge like that. Now we have took that on the other side as well. What we need to do now is to take this section in here and fold it over. This is going to be the collar of the jacket. It's difficult to hold, so you have to have a knife just to hold it like this. You have to make certain that this section in here is actually slightly inside in the border. As you can see, doesn't matter about that side. And again, this one. Okay. Now, we turn it over. And we allow about five fingers in here before we can make a jacket. To give an example, I start from here, I take my right hand side and move it towards there. Then I change hands and I take it on the left hand side and turn it there. Now I'm gonna turn it over again. Put your hand in the center here so it doesn't fall apart and turn it over. Now, this point in here really should have been there. As you can see, this point should have been there and that should have been there, okay? But it doesn't always work that way. So what we do now, the correction is this. We take this section in here and we fold it this way. So it doesn't matter if this sticks out like that. And then we do the second section on that side. And again, as you can see, this is coming out like this. Okay. Then we turn it over. You can see the way it's come out. What we need to do in that case, because this is sticking out in there, what we need to do is to bring that into, into line like this and this one into line like this by moving it up. Okay, now what we're going to do is that we're going to actually put and uh, uh, a little shirt inside or a little blouse inside and we use a dolly so we open up and we put a dolly in here there you are then we close it again now this fold also requires two Ferrero Rocha. Now you ask yourself, is it, what do I need a Ferrero Rocha to do this jacket? Well, it's very simple. We can put one in here and we can put one in there. And you can see now, if you want, if it is too large for the plate, you can always close this a little bit this side. Now this is ideal really for a, a, a birthday party for a lady and if she asks what are the chocolate for, you can always say well that's your booby. There you are.